Hey, I'm Gravy Nation. Um, do you remember my video about uh, VROPS? Um, so the latest video I made how to uh, add VROPS to your home lab. It appears that at least one person liked it and he asked me for more content. As you can see, Amit asked me how to deploy another node in VROPS. Make a video on that too. And this is exactly what we are going to do today. So sit back, relax and watch the video. Okay, um, so let's have a look on the VROPS itself. As you can see, we have a master node running and that is well enough for my environment. However, in real life scenario, uh, you should have master node, replica master and those two nodes should only take care of running your cluster. The third node should be data node and data node should serve all the data. And the rest is collectors or if you would go for uh, continuous availability, which we don't, you would have another node called witness node. But if you want to know more about VROPS structure, how it works under the hood, look at this video, which I made going exactly through all node and all the responsibilities they have. Okay, without a further ado, let's add another node. So as you know, I have my ISO folder here and this is the VROPS Operation Manager Appliance ISO. Um, it's OVF format and we use exactly the same OVF to install another node as we used in the previous video to install the master node. All right, and one more thing, we need to add the DNS record. So let's say ISO VROPS AP. Let's do the collector. It doesn't matter really which node we go for. 192.168.122. Okay, and we have that record added to our DNS. That's grand. So now let's go back to our vCenter and let's create a, a let's add that node. Let's check how many views do we have. Okay, what's the let's look? I think we go for the node number two. So we go for deploy from the template, local file, and we are going to our ISO file and VROPS OVF. Okay. Okay, and we have another node for the VROPS. Let's power it on. So as you see, the process was exactly the same as the first node. There's no difference. And the name, uh, APC, APM, it's just my naming convention. You can have whatever you want it doesn't um, affect the note. Okay, and the note is up. Let's have a look if we can ping it. Okay. And we have a reply from DNS as well, which is great. So now it's just a node. 
it doesn't do anything, it doesn't have any function, it's not master, it's not replica, it's not collector. What we need to do, oh, we need to do few things. The first of is let's log into that node and finish our installation. Okay. <clears throat> and now, do you remember from the previous video, we got, we were doing the new installation, but now we do the expand and existing installation. So we go for this one and we click next and we put a node name. And the type, uh, it could be data. So the data type means that this is the master, master replica or data node. Uh, but let's, let's do remote collector. It really doesn't matter uh, which one you choose because the procedure is exactly the same. So now here we put the FQDM for the master node. And let's validate. And I put OK, accept certificate. Now we can use admin account and password. So this is one option. And the second option is use shared passphrase. How to do it? You have to go to VROPS to admin UI, which as you can see is admin UI. And that's your node, that's the master node running. As you can see, we have a few options. The first option is to generate fast passphrase. So let's generate, let's copy that passphrase. Close, it's valid for one hour. And let's use this one instead of password. Next, and click finish. So now you will see that the node is being added to the cluster. And we can see that node is added already. It's not running yet uh, as installation is in progress and it will take a bit, um, a good chunk of time to install. Okay, and we have information waiting to finish cluster expansion. Ah, let's just click finish adding new nodes. Okay. And again, this will take a few moments. Okay, and as you can see, we have the we have remote collector added on, it's online and it will start and collecting data very soon. So guys, um, that was it for today. I hope you found this informative and if you like that video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Read my blog, angrysystems.com, check out the Twitter, check out the Facebook and see you in the next video. Bye.